Hello everybody, welcome to this great toilet day here at uh, the PRRB event. You're with me on the couch here with Timothy. Yes. And uh, so how are you enjoying the day, Timothy, on this toilet day? Yes, 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 it's a wonderful day. It's a toilet day. It's, it's a rare, it's, it's rare. Very rare to rare. have a, a toilet day. <laughs> oh, you must be relaxed. You know, this day is all about relaxing. Okay. You know, and... Um, uh, tell me something, you know, you're, um, you as a plumber, I assume you are a plumber, I see that you are a licensed plumber, is that correct? Yes, yes. When, did you, yeah, when did you get your, your plumbing qualification? Uh, I got my plumbing qualification through an apprentice, it was sponsored by DWS under Rainwater, so we were in an apprentice for three years, six months contract, and we've been doing practicals, we've been placed in a number of places for practical purposes, so it has been doing great. Okay, so, so just uh, um, the, uh, so, you, so you've gone through a different program, you know, at the college, is that, how did you enjoy that? Yes, uh, we did it there at the, 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 the college was there at AITF, it's a training center there, uh, been, it, it, it's, been, it's been great, yeah. it's been great. And, wh and, wh and what are your challenges to date since you've left the, the college. Or what, are you, what are you finding where sure. the challenges are out there? It's always a challenge not being recognized by some municipalities, not being recognized by some companies, not being, not being recognized at some point uh, to a way that they even tell you that uh, you are overqualified when you come with uh, your plumbing license or when you come with your, your trade test. So that's a challenge mainly, that, uh, that the main challenge that I see. And not having proper employment or proper payment schedule, things like that. There's no particular method or way of say this is a way that uh, or this is a method or the payment that goes to plumbers. So it's different, it's quite challenging. Even if when you have a labor, somewhere your private work, somewhere the uh, okay. people are familiar with this local what you call unlicensed or unqualified plumber, they, they say we are expensive because uh, we are qualified. So they are afraid to fail off. And what does it mean to you? I mean, what, what, what is that? I mean, do, do, do you know, um, do you believe that a person needs to be qualified in our industry? Uh, absolutely so, yes. Because being qualified, I've seen opportunities even overseas, not here in South Africa only, even overseas. Uh, mm -hmm. Some people, they treat plumbing like something that is useless or something that doesn't go nowhere. But I've seen it even overseas, uh, like Australia, New Zealand, Canada. They, are, they do recognize the plumbers. And even if maybe I haven't gone that far, but I've, I had a number of applications that side. Uh, so, which I appreciate because uh, they, they, they respond that uh, hey, we can see, man, you are in South Africa. So, we can't take you. We wish we, you were here around, and the challenge is crossing the border there. Because yeah, no, but I, mean, I just, I just want to probe that a little bit more. It says, why do you think that um, um, you, you say they recognize you, and why don't you think South Africa people are not recognizing you? Uh, if South Africa was recognizing us, we wouldn't be unemployed yeah. so many yeah, but I'm saying I'm saying you, you are saying um, they are not recognizing you yes. in South Africa yes. why, why are they not recognizing you uh, I guess, in your mind I guess maybe it's because of this trade certificate or this trade thing maybe it's new in this industry or this trade test maybe in plumbing or in other field maybe it's new or they feel that it's costly so that is why they do not recognize because they avoid you because uh, they can maybe feel which is, since you are licensed or you are qualified, it means you will demand more. And while you are unemployed, uh, which is why they make us like uh, vulnerable people and they, they, they can give you any amount that they think, of which is wrong. There must be a basic. Yeah, 100%. I mean, yes. you're right. I mean, that, that, that's, I mean, we're, we're, you know, in an industry, you would ask yourself, well, you've got to have a benchmark somewhere. Yes, Isn't that yes, so? Yes, yes, so, yes. so if, the, if they don't recognize you as your qualification, what is the benchmark? You know, then we can't even start with the point. I mean, you're talking about, they're saying you're too expensive, but what are you comparing me to? If you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So those are the challenges that they, they do not recognize us. Anyway, so I mean, we are on this, uh, this plumber's day and um, and obviously, I see you belong to the, the, the PRRB. 
um, or you, you register with the PRRB. Yes, what does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It means I'm safe because I know any work that I'm going to do is going to be, there's a possibility of being audited, a certain percent of work, meaning I must always make sure that uh, I upgrade my skills time and again. My tomorrow's work shouldn't be like today's work because of the so-called uh, the audit method or the audit system. When they, whenever they are coming to audit, they must see that the, the work that you audited, say for example, last year compared to this year, there's a great change. Even if they won't call mm. me and say, man, come and do or come and redo or there are changes that or there are mistakes that you did on that side. So yeah. the great thing is that uh, there's a continuous growth. Yeah, 100%. Yes. You know, I, yes. think, I think in our country is that people, people very much under, under, um, under recognize the plumbing industry, yes. not recognizing us as professionals in the industry. And, that, and, that, and that's what we are trying to do as the PRRB is, is bring the spotlight on the fact that, Timothy, like yourself, you are a professional. And being a professional, you hold yourself up to a higher level. You know, the, the higher, you know, you want to be audited. You want to be, you want to show that you're not afraid yes, of being yes, measured, yes, yes. if you know what I'm, because I know that I do right things. And that's why I charge what I charge in the industry, okay. you know, because I hold myself up to a higher quality. And I think that's the whole, I wouldn't say the whole ethos of the, uh, the, the PRRB, but it's definitely a strong cornerstone is that, you know, it's through your professionalism yes. and the way in which you act in the industry is that you can charge that higher rate. Yes. Because you, you, you at least you're measuring yourself to a higher degree you know, in, <laughs> yes, in the industry. Yes, yes, yes. That's in, very true that uh, when coming to pricing, uh, mainly it must be market related. Yeah. And then pricing high depends on the number of maybe activities that will be done there or the process that you're going to do there because you mustn't just price out of your head it must be market related you can't price the, the same price of say a township and, a, and the other villages mm. they must be a little different depending on the distance at some point on where you get this material 100 so it must be like it, your pricing must be logic mm. yeah, it must be logical pricing. i think i think the word maybe you're looking for not to put any words your pricing needs to be sustainable Yes. You know, you gotta you gotta eat, you gotta be sustainable, and then obviously you're in business. Yes. As a businessman, you gotta make profits. I mean, what's then? The, what is the point in not being in business? Yes, and the other thing, the, as you can see, the fluctuation price of the fluctuating price of petrol. Hmm. So you must be also market related towards uh, your cost and your your working because you might find yourself buying petrol with the whole man. Yeah, yeah. They're not coming home with nothing. Then yeah, hundred percent. Something else. Well, so it must be proper. I also heard that you want to get into the insurance game. Is that correct? Yes, that one is the challenge. There's no one who's responding. They are sending applications left and right. Yeah. They say I'm I'm a licensed plumber. I'm interested in growing mm. with your company or with your insurance business or with your bank, whatever. But uh, there, there are no responses. Yeah, it's, 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 I think I think what a lot of people need to understand is that you know it, um, its attractiveness is that uh, you know everybody thinks that the insurance industry and working is really attractive and all from that point of view, but it's not as attractive as you think it is. Oh, you know, okay. many people you can speak to them that that like yourself wanted to get into the game. They've got into the game, but now they want to get out of the game. Oh, you know. Okay and that you might you need to go in it with open eyes you know, and everybody out there you know i mean i'm not i'm not knocking the the insurance game uh, anything you know the, the insurance, but it's not it's not what you think it seems to be oh, you know okay. it's uh, but going with proper eyes i know that uh, there is a couple of uh, webinars about it that i know that uh, we bring out um, and we have always have discussions around these specific points and then next year as well we're going to be diving into this topics as well because the PRLB is going to be doing a lot of uh, shows on this as well which you can learn from and business shows again we're going to be introducing a couple of more business shows as well You've, you know about the technical shows that we do that well, come about oh yeah yeah i've seen i've seen yeah 100 yeah, percent yes, but anyway thank you timothy i really appreciate you enjoying uh, joining us on the couch and I really wish you luck. Is there anything you want to close with? 
Uh, I really appreciate events like this because they are giving an exposure to number of companies, number of individuals. Some they don't even know about the number of materials, they don't even know about the PIRP. Some they wanna be in the field, they don't know what's the process. Some they wanna maybe be artisans or a certain skill or sales providers. They don't have an idea where to go. But in case they, come, they, they came here, there's almost everything here. Mm -hmm. There's salespeople, there's PRB, there's IOPS. I've seen IOPS are there, uh, and there are a number of other companies that are good uh, yeah. for for our environment in particular. Because if it what if it's water related, it means it's environmental related. Correct, hundred yes. percent. And yeah, just so. and always and uh, always remember, you know, you are the PRB. Without you, as the plumber, the PRB won't exist. But thanks again, man, Timothy. Really appreciate it. No, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity for being invited here. But, but I wish next time it must be, say, publicized somehow because I've got it through an email. Yeah. Yeah, so it, mu it must change the method of Im inviting people. It mustn't be particular for us, maybe people who are registered with PIRB or with IOPSA. It must be generally, say, for a community or be in a newsletter or newspaper, something like that, so that everyone can have an access. Because look, now I'm from Pumalanga and I came alone. Yeah. You see? Thank you for that. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Timothy. No, yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. PORB Master Plumber Recognition Program has officially arrived. As an essential service to society, there must be constant growth and development within this important and ever-changing industry. Developed by the PORB, the Master Plumber Recognition Program has launched as a new PORB designation, allowing industry champions to take the lead. Skilled and experienced plumbers equipped to take the lead, enroll today to start your journey in becoming a recognized PIRB Master Plumber. Hey, and welcome back. We're back on the couch here. I've got John here with me. Yeah. He's, he's got some questions about the COCs and stuff. Uh, John, yeah. tell us, uh, how, can, how can we help you? Okay, thank okay. you very much. Um, um, I have just a few questions here yeah, regarding to the compliance. Yeah. Um, the question number one, it's a development, I yes. don't know if you have something to wrote to you, if you understand. Oh, let's, okay. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, number no. two, yeah. it's marketing. Yeah. Number three, it's um, a showing of the compliance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. N let me start by saying number one, question number one, which is uh, marketing. Does PRB have no way to develop the small companies in terms of marketing or in terms of developing developing small companies yes small companies so that's a it's, a it's a good question so first of all yes PRB would like to be as helpful as possible okay but there are some constraints on what the PRB actually can do and cannot I think let's understand what who the PRB is so the PRB remember is a professional body you can register to become this okay. uh, and we controlled by certain legislation okay one of the things that the PRB does is we stay out of business. In other words, we allow, we encourage the plumbers, it's your business. Okay. You need to do that. We do not interfere. That's why we don't, we don't tell you what prices to charge. To cook, eh? We don't get involved with that. Even if there's audits and all of these things, we don't talk to your customer. Exactly. You talk to your customer. Exactly. We're here to support you and to guide you Definitely. and do things like that. Okay. Okay. As far as the marketing is concerned, a, a big part of what we do is we try to also communicate to the consumers we need to we try to, to tell the consumers that listen you make use of a PRB licensed plumber okay. that's a better choice make use because you know he's got the qualifications you know he's got a good job you know he's supported by the PRB okay. things like that okay. so as far as the marketing is concerned that that's a big thing that we try to do to encourage plumbers okay. we cannot unfortunately 
uh, promote a specific business and tell everybody, oh, this business is good, I'd rather yeah. use them than the others. Okay. We, we treat everybody fairly, but your business can be listed by the PRB. So anybody okay. that look for a plumber, they can come onto the website, they can get the registered mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. So we, we often tell the consumers, please come, have a look at the website, okay. look at your area, okay. Okay. who's there, okay. they get a list of the plumbers, okay. they get a list of the businesses, okay. and that's how the consumers oh. can get to you. Okay. Okay. Let's take, I have got five units. Yes. Same address, yes. Same client, yes. Does each each uh, unit needs to has its own COC or should I use one COC as, as because of it gets it, it gets interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it gets interesting. Yeah. So first of all, uh, just a reminder: what's a COC? COC is your declaration. Declaration. Yeah. That the property or that the installation is good. It's so the good, COC okay. is for the installation. Okay. I know I've heard some people talking about, well, there's different geezers in the house, yeah, yeah, yeah. more than one COC. Exactly. COC is for the house. It's for the house. So, in general, I think the best way to look at it, we talk about a, a dwelling. It's a fancy a word dwelling worker. for where yeah. people play. Yeah. Stay. If it's a unit that somebody stays in, that the family stays in, it's a dwelling. Okay. It's a COC per dwelling. per dwelling. So, it's typically if it's a residential area, okay. there's a house on the, on the stand, the house needs a COC. Okay. If there's two properties, Two on the same stand. Yeah. In other words, there's a house okay. and that's a separate house, house yes. where somebody else stays. That's two dwellings, okay. two places where people stay. That is two COCs. So, okay. it's, so it's a COC per, per, per dwelling. Per, per dwelling. Yes. Oh. It's like a block of flats. Block of flats people, okay. people often ask, well, it's a block yeah. of flat. Yes. Yeah. Or what they lately do a lot of these small developments. Okay. Small little unit and there's eight, okay. eight units in this. Okay. This is now, but I've done the plumbing for the whole for the whole block. So now there's eight families living there, there's eight dwellings, therefore there's eight COCs. Sure. Understand, I mean, who gets a COC at the end of the day? It's the it's the owner. It's the owner, yes. It's the guy living there that living gets a there, COC. Yeah. So yeah. each owner needs to be able to get his own COC. Oh, okay. Okay. Even if they tenant and they read tenant, they, they okay. rent out, it's the same. I'm the tenant. I should be able to get my own COC. I don't wanna rely on rely one COC on, that I yeah. don't know where to get it okay. because somebody wrote a COC oh, okay. for the whole All right. block. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, so, while well, we are still there, mm. here's the shop. It's yes. Boxer, ShopRite, and etc. Mm -hmm. They've got five geezers, yes. same shop. How do I issue this? Oath? Each geezer is supposed to have its... It's one COC for the shop. It's one the same, yeah. If, if, it's, if it's a shop, it's not a residence, not people that stay there. Then the shop is seen as the dwelling. The dwelling, okay. Dwelling is not the right word for a shop, but it's one installation. It's one installation. So that shop gets one COC, okay. and it can have the five, five geezers, five can be have more, more, whatever. Now understand the, the standard, SANS 102.5 part one, parent standard of all the okay. installation. That tells you what to do when there's more than one geezer and all of that. Okay. It's all right. One COC for the whole installation. For, okay. No, I think, thank you very much for your time. Does that so answer all your questions? Yeah, yeah you did. Nothing ask. else you want? <laughs> no, so far so good. Okay. So far so good. Perfect. Okay. Well, it's good to see you. It's good that you came around. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the day. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Enjoy. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest. Thank you. Thanks. It's an exciting time to be a professionally registered plumber. The PIRB's leaderboard provides plumbers with the opportunity to be placed onto a ranking system to see how they perform amongst their peers around the country. This ranking system enables both plumbers and consumers to identify top local plumbers and monitor their performance nationally and regionally. Consumers will always look for the best and at the top is where you'd want to be. It is therefore very important to be dedicated to continuously upskilling yourself through continuous professional development activities. The CPD points you accumulate during the CPD program will allow you to be rated on the leaderboard as you grow. The ranking system runs on a three-month rolling average, where you can find yourself at the very top by accumulating more points than your peers. Top-ranked plumbers also stand a chance to win prizes through a lucky draw, where winners are announced on the PIRB's Plumbing 101 shows on YouTube. Do not miss out on the opportunity to be highlighted as an elite plumber in South Africa. Start accumulating points and become one of the best. Get skilled, get rewarded. Being part of an industry professional body is a personal decision. To those who take pride in their trade, 
it stretches far beyond having a status of being licensed to issue certificates of compliance. To them, the consumer matters. As part of the plumbing industry, you help to bring the most valuable commodity to civilization. Water is life. Be sure to continue to reap the benefits of being a proudly PIRP registered plumber by continually renewing your registration. All right, you got to love it. You got to love it. It's World Toilet Day, speaking to industry role players and valuable people within the plumbing industry of South Africa. But remember, World Toilet Day is not even just a South African thing. It's a global celebration. But let me not talk too much. I've got a king right next to me. My brother, how are you? Oh, never better. Come on, I love that. I love that. Let's, let's introduce yourself to the people. Tell them who you are, your name, your surname, and the company you represent. Oh, it's Heinrich Wagner. I'm from uh, Rothenburg tools uh, basically pop tool technologies okay uh, so anything from the industry from air conditioning plumbing industrial uh, plastic pipe welding yeah anything with a pipe work Rothenberger got you covered come on I love got that you now you guys are, are a key role player in the private sector yeah. when it comes to the plumbing industry you know you, you guys produce some quality products now what separates you from your competition you know why must they go to Rothenberger yeah uh, you said it first it's yeah. the quality man come on it's the quality I mean it's um, for example it's a one tool that you know it's not gonna just last you a month or so it's Allah. a tool that can last you a few years come on depending on how you take care of it it's a tool that will last you and it's a tool that that is backed by service technicians tools yeah. with, with spares available come constantly on. come on we've got everything uh, in Germiston and uh, we've got a team uh, like myself the plumbing specialist yeah we're on the road constantly if the guys need some uh, hands-on um, needs assistance I'm around the corner come one on. phone call away come on one phone call away now now I wanna I wanna speak to the homeowner the consumer yes. the person who pays the plumber perhaps yes. who pays for you know the quality you know yes, yes. what message do you want to leave them with why Rothenberger you said quality all right why Rothenberger that brand the, the brand is, uh, it's a big thing, you know, it's, uh, I would say Rothenberger as a plumber of 12 years experience, uh, as a kid growing up, you know that one brand always took, uh, yeah. stuck out and, and it's Rothenberger. Yeah. It's a brand that I would back uh, for my life, it's yeah. a brand that I would, I would stand by, you know, for years to come. And for the, for the end user, for the homeowner, for the plumber, for the technicians, um, it's not just a brand you get on the shelf, yeah. someone sell it and there you go, thank you, goodbye. Yeah. It's a brand that you know, okay. There's their website, yeah. it's on the brand, you can phone us, we will help you on site, we'll back you. And um, yeah, we're always there, always Come there on. for everybody. Always there for everybody, quality, I mean, it doesn't get bigger and better than that. Yes. I just want to say from us, the PRP, we recognize the professionalism and the quality you bring. So a big shout out to you, yes. a big shout out to Rothenberger, Thank and you. happy World Toilet Day. Thanks man, Come on, it. my Thank man. So Thank you. Thanks, eh? Yes, man.